Hey everybody. How you doing today? Thought I'd pop in here and give you another little update. Just gonna give you a little segment here. Uh, I went ahead yesterday and I got my Y axis motor mounted and my lead screw in and the mount for the lead screw nut on my platform, so that's some good progress. Um, this morning what I've been working on is my hot end. As I said in my last video that uh, I really was wanting a really was wanting a uh, direct drive extruder and I'll get it eventually but for now just to speed things along I'm going to go ahead with a, a Bowden, Bowden 2 and show you what I got here. I was able to make one pretty easy out of polycarbonate and a carriage. I countersunk for the screw heads in the back here and I just took a small piece of polycarbonate right here. Let's see if I can get it into the camera and basically it started out like this and I centered up where I wanted it to be and I took a 5, uh, five eighths flat spade drill bit for wood and I drilled down four millimeters which if you're familiar with spade bits has that long point in the center by doing that the point came out the back which gave me the exact same location on the back so I could put in the drill press the other way and I drilled down two millimeters from the back side so that gave me a countersink that worked out well for the, the groove of this heat sink for this hot end cold end, hot end the cold section of the hot end then I took the spade bit out and I drilled with I think it was a 12 millimeter I think the 5 8 if, if I remember correctly the 5 8 was very very close to the 16 millimeter outer diameter of that fitting and then the smaller diameter that I needed I believe was 12 so I, I had a drill bit that crossed over to 12 millimeters very very close so after I had that I already had a center drill in it so I just chucked the drill bit in there and went ahead and brought the smaller diameter out to the 12 millimeters. So I actually had the profile of this heat sink in the polycarbonate. So I took it to the bandsaw and right through the center of the holes that I had just drilled, I took the bandsaw and sliced it right through the center. And then after I had that done, that, then I had a clamping, two-piece clamp, and it fit perfect. It worked out great. The material that the saw blade removed allowed me enough of a gap so that it would draw it good and tight, and it is solid. I can spin it if I need to, but it's pretty tight. There's no wobble, wiggle, no slop in it at all. It's going to be nice and straight, pretty straight. Um, and then I took another piece of polycarbonate and put it on the back. And I'll make my bushings mount up here somehow. And then connect to my two rails so that it'll travel back and forth. But that's where I'm at so far. Um, Thank you guys for the help on how to put the hot end together and which components to use. I went with the stainless steel heat brake, the aluminum heat block, and the brass short nozzle for now. Um, so I've got that together. Time to move on to another, another section. I just want to give you an update. I'm uh, kind of working on everything I want, working on the YouTube channel, working on some affiliate links, working on uh, Facebook and Twitter, 
working on this. But every aspect of this is making progress. So I added a little bit of the free background music from YouTube. It's nothing fancy, but a little background noise kind of drowned out the road noise from the highway. I live right on the highway, so a lot of times, a lot of times I'll get road noise and pick it up. I bought a snowball off eBay yesterday for 22 bucks. I'm anxious for that one here. 22 bucks and free shipping, so that worked out well. Uh, that's all the updates I have for you for now. My next phase is going to be working on the carriage. I got to make some brackets to go across here. Make some brackets to go up and down here. For my crossbars and my bushings, that's the next phase so that I can get that apparatus motivated. Oh, I did do some other stuff. I did do a little more. I started, started doing a little pre-cutting on my box for the display. And uh, that's turning out pretty good. I'll give you uh, what I ended up doing is drilling out. I drilled holes in the corners and then a big hole in the middle, and I have this nibbler tool, let's see if you can see it there, nibbler tool, that way I can cut the box out with nice square corners, straight edges, and not have to cut it with a saw or anything and have ragged edges, so that worked out well, I still haven't run off the spot welded yet, I may not spot weld it, I may just rivet it in case I ever have to open it up again been the front but anyway I got all my holes located for the boards inside and out um, I'll uh, I'll post a link to this nibbler in case anybody's interested from Amazon um, I'll post that down below or something anyway that's what I've got moving forward We're just gonna keep chugging along until we get this thing motivated. I think that's it. So, thanks for checking in and uh, watch for the links for that nibbler. And I got some other things in the links down there. I got a couple affiliate, I got a Gearbest affiliate and an Amazon affiliate link down there. So, check them out. Thanks for coming, and uh, I'll get back with you soon. I'll make some more progress.